nestled in the bluegrass, we have approximately 1,224 acres solely dedicated to the horse. You know, we are incredibly lucky to have so many horses. We have approximately 115 horses, which are located on the property, and they represent approximately 50 breeds. And where in the United States can you see 50 breeds together? If you're a visitor to the park through our visitor center, you can walk in, and not only can you meet retired champions, and these are not just retired thoroughbred champions, they are retired standard bred champions, saddle bred champions, and they are showcased in our um, Hall of Champions, which has a daily show. The Kentucky Horse Park derives its support from admission fees from the tourists that come to the park, and also for the rental of our show facility services. It's pretty much a steady stream of support, but it is supplemented by the Commonwealth of Kentucky through taxpayer dollars. But there is a significant gap between our revenue and expenses, and that is where the Kentucky Horse Park Foundation comes in. The foundation was founded in 1985 to help bridge this gap at the park, and it does it through charitable support, and most importantly, because this not-for-profit foundation creates a public-private partnership which is so essential for the park to sustain our operations and also to be our first class international facility. The Kentucky Horse Park Foundation also has implemented a naming rights program which will allow gifts at a certain level to be recognized both publicly and permanently and those gifts help the park in every way sustain what we do the best. We have several fundraising efforts, which we're currently um, in the middle of. Our Man of War, again, is our annual campaign, and that is basically our operating campaign, which keeps the lights on at the park and focuses on our daily activities and daily needs of the Kentucky Horse Park. We also have our Leave a Legacy campaign, which is to preserve the park for all future generations. And this includes a state-of-the-art barn complex, special footing, which is so important in the equestrian world, and competition rings. It also includes the refurbishment of our old barns. We also have the Nina Bonnie Endowment, and that is to preserve the park for future generations. And the money thrown out from this endowment allows us to provide support to the park to which the Commonwealth of Kentucky is unable to. The foundation has also created the Champion Circle Society. And this Circle Society recognizes individuals who wish to make a planned gift. And these planned gifts are very easy to make and they provide assurance for funding for the park for many years down the road.